what's happening. Just thought I'd... Um... Hi, what's happening? So I showed you this uh, in my last video. And as I said, I've got a hunting trip coming up in a couple of weeks. So it's time for me to actually get on and sort this out the way I want to set it up. I bought this about 12 months ago on eBay um, from um, a bloke who was in the army. And I just haven't got around to doing it. So it's time. What I want to do, the first step is to paint over the Ozcam camo. Nothing wrong with Ozcam in my opinion. I think it's a fine camo. Certainly in Australia anyway. But um, camo is not really my thing. So I'm going to paint over it. I've got an olive drab, forest green type colour in uh, spray paint to paint over it. The um, pouches themselves, this is the back, obviously, and it's two separate pouches. But the uh, previous owner has modified it, cut a hole here in the top, and they've cut the, um, the interior lining between the two pouches so that a water bladder will fit through, and the hose obviously comes through the top here. The vest itself Oh, let's get this on. Might have to adjust the sizing. The vest itself. Both sides are identical. So the larger pouch, small pouch here. You got one larger pouch here small pouch and another pouch there and this side's the same little velcro here for a torch or a knife perhaps and the same on this side a little bit of tidy up to do on these straps this bit of elastic's gone so it's not keeping that snug there's also a pouch in there and I'd assume that'd be a, a mat type compartment, perhaps. Nice and flat. Let me get the right spot. Pouch in there. Velcro close. So that's the um, that's the setup. Let's change the camera angle. We'll get a close up. I'm, I'm going to do a test to start with with the paint, even though it's been recommended for this sort of job. We'll just do a quick test, see what it's like. So this is the paint that I'm using. It's a Krylon camouflage paint. Um, I asked a couple of questions on Bushcraft Oz forum and this paint came up in the responses. A little research, it seemed appropriate for the job. So that's the paint I'm going to use. I'm going to test it on the back part of this pouch here, which would be up against uh, my body. So if it does a completely botch up job, it's not going to show and, uh, and ruin the look of it. Okay, so we've done our 15 minutes of drying and we've come back and you can see that the camo still shows up a little bit, particularly around the edges there. But I'm relatively happy with that. I think two coats and that should come up pretty well. So I'll, um, I won't show you painting the rest of the, um, the vest. That's not going to make great video, I think. But um, I'll um, keep moving along with this process and show you what it looks like once I've done a first coat all over the vest.
yeah, this is the end of the first coat. Relatively happy with it. Be interesting to see how it dries. Not sure how well it's coming up on the camera, but there's certainly still camo visible through that paint. But um, it's toned it right down, which is what I was after. You know, I'm not trying to look like an army man out there. I know other people enjoy it, but you know, I'm a civvy. And uh, I'll dress in drab colours and respect the bush and leave the camo up to my mates in the army. So we'll come back to that once it's dry, see how that's turned out. So it's been 24 hours since I finished spraying the vest and here it is. Let's take a little there look. There it is. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's come up really nicely. Zoom in a little bit here. And you can still see the camo coming through in places, but it's certainly not as bright as it was. And from a distance, it's going to come up a treat. It's just, um, it's going to look really good. It's really dulled it down. The camo doesn't stand out. Yeah, it's there, but it doesn't stand out. The material seems to be holding the paint really well. So there won't be any problems there, I don't think. And on the whole, I'm really happy with how that's come up. So over the next um, over the next few days, I'll just um, sort out my pockets and what's going to go where, and um, and then I'll do another video showing you how I've set that up for the hunting trip that's coming up in a couple of weeks' time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around through all this. Check it out. I hope you liked it. Put something in the comments below if you've got any thoughts. And there'll be another video coming up soon. Cheers.